Ah, uh, smells like home. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. Yeah. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem. 
So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get, Jason. What is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, won't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. And we'll go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. 
It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score, right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are okay. dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. So you know I don't like doctors in hospitals. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car-to-car -car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still fa faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going.
He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Eh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm? you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. Huh? I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael. It's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Elk in the road! <laughs> shit, shit, shit! I 
got your back, homie. Find him. Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Swimming? I am too. Fuck. Man, this water is fucking cold. <laughs> Hear that, boy? We closing in. 
out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Who's a good boy?
It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? According to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. price on me and you're telling me to calm down i'm going to stay near the chopper you dumb fucks do your job I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. Joe's gonna have so much balls for this! Ah!
that home. Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That would take some doing.
All right, so we did it! West, that military hardware we needed. It's parked out back of Trevor's office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! What? You know, you got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Come on, we got a score to take. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah. 25 years ago. Jesus! Jeff, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. Stood to reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, 
pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. A check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. OK. The score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. Money was useless, then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna want to go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. Y'all ready? Let's go! Is this happening? We want a few minutes of your time. Get down! Come on, then. Do it. Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now. You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. OK, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. I think the door is ready. Get over Just here and kick try it. You getting off on this, little man? <laughs> If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <gasps> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <laughs> Sweet mother of shit. I said back on. Someone's lovely home. 
Yeah, the only thing your crib's missing is a pool with a burning helicopter in it. That's what we need! More heat! We got a window! Let's move! More cops! I ain't down your window! Keep pushing! this score to buy one of them unwieldy motherfuckers. They got the army on us! It's too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Kid, I got the armor. Kid, you still alive? Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. Come on! Move. 
platform! Give us a minute! The train! Come it's on. our only shot! Here we go! Right here! Get on! Ah! Let's go. Yo, uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. OK, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, OK? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're going to be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Hi. See you, Serious? Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker, living out here away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete, living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat, and now you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby. Yeah. Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Ratten Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. So I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. 
Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes our work. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, a magical train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, oh, 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 getting changed? What have, what have you turned into? Choo, choo. Conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Toledo Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. What would I blow up a train to steal? Don't be smart! Find the loot! Our moment of judgment is fast approaching! Put your earplugs in and blow the freaking. Ah, let's get rich, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather recover! Three teams arrived! It can't be this hard to find treasure in the magical train! I'm spending more time giving status reports than looking! Let's go! I ain't found nothing good yet! 
snipers are down. So don't let that keep you. Ron would have found something ten minutes ago. They're parachuting in now. You're taking too long, pork chop. In the boat, come on! Down river! Vamino! We got both on us! Nature, you're right, it's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada. Ha! You're dead. Pump T, she's yours. The ground forces are on us. Forgot to say, nice outfit! And by nice, I mean lame! <laughs> Chopper! Right behind us! Dying brain! You feeling alive? Juice pumping through your glands? My glands are just fine, without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job fucked things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. 
You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again, with Lester and Franklin on board, we can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Hey. You keep the case. Fuck me, okay, hey! All right, here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hello. Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff and get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbangers already on the way. Oh the window's God. open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud.
drowned at birth. Excuse me! Shit! Cops! Going on, ladies. Hello, Trevor. What kept you? 
Business, Michael, business, ah. all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, right. ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right. So let me get this straight, then. No, 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 You're... no, no, no. No, there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now, we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes! It'll be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next bullet I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. So, you got any more little facts for 
for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non... ...and lethal as long as you can. Against the wall, quick! No, wait! Hey! It's time this guy went to sleep, Michael. And look like. You're on a need to know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out. <laughs> Collect a swipe card. Next floor. Come on. How you feel about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab gigs? I don't want trouble from these two. We gotta keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Come on, push through! Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. This is them. Take them out or let them go. I dare you. Just They're gone. We've got some time. Swipe us in. Come on. Exit. Lab right in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. You. You. Door. Now. Who are you people? He's got the locking system overridden from in there. 
Pause it. We got company. I got this. The nerd went down. You want us to take out this door and you along with it? Stick up, guys. You're expendable. Get the nerve agent. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breached. Ah, look, look at this idiot! You got the right weapon? The shit's about to get... units in that container. Couple clicks. 
missed the window. AC response team's already in the building. It's never too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. Special agent, I got this covered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet from my country! Pull it up! Get us out of here! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Ah, well... Maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <clears throat> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> so, sorry. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You mistreat you! I know. I know.
No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The other wise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. <laughs>